and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Karen and I am the Peppy Techie. Today's tutorial is about creating a freeze frame introduction video using LumaFusion. And you could use this to introduce your movie characters, your bandmates for promotional video, or maybe just the characters in your family. Oh, not that the members of your family are characters. Uh, that's up to you to determine. I'd also like to give a shout out to Premiere Gal, who did a similar tutorial in Premiere Pro. Okay, full disclaimer, you're going to need a photo editing app to do the cutouts. You cannot do that in LumaFusion. This tutorial will feature PicArt. You can use whatever photo app you like to use. My channel focuses on video editing and photography techniques using both iOS and the PC. If you think this could help you, please subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I make new videos. Also, stay until the end because today I'm going to give away a wireless microphone to my subscribers. I'll tell you at the end how to win it. Without further ado, let's get to it and I'm going to show you how to create a freeze frame character introduction in LumaFusion and PicArt. So we're going to start a new project, then bring down onto the timeline the video you wish to make the character introduction in. You're going to go to the place where you want to have that picture taken, and you're going to crop it. Then you're going to go to the bottom right share button and click on snapshot. Now we're going to go up to photos and grab that snapshot and put it into the timeline in front of that point on the video. Now tap on the video and go to edit. Once you get in here, we're going to go to color and effects. Then we're going to go up to the blur symbol. We're going to choose Gaussian blur 40 as a place to start. So we have an outline of the image to start with. Now later on, we may change this radius to 100 to totally blur out the background. Now we're going to hit the back button, come back to our main video. And this is where we need to go to pick art to create our outline of our image for our character introduction. So when you get to pick art, tap on the big purple plus sign to create a new project. And we're going to click on our picture that we have. You can go to all photos if you don't see it there, but I see it right there and I just tap on it. Once I do that, I go to cut out and you can choose select a person or the outline. I prefer the outline. It's just personal preference. Now I'm going to outline her. Okay, I've selected almost everything. There we go. And now when I'm done, I'm going to hit the, in the upper right hand corner, hit the arrow. It's going to give me a nice preview of everything. It's going to also give me restore and erase so I can come in and restore. There's a size for the tool so you can make it smaller or larger. I'm going to make it smaller and bring in some of the hair that I missed. Here's a little part that's small, so you can use two fingers to zoom in and then pick up anything you miss. So now I'm going to hit the preview again, and it's going to do a cutout. And it's going to allow me to use the race and the restore tool again. And in this case, I've got a little orange edging here. So anything I want to get rid of, I can just use the erase tool and adjust the size of it as well here. Then I just double pinch and look out and think, okay, that looks good. Go to the save in the upper right hand button and it opens it up in this screen. Go to the top menu bar, hit the down arrow, and that will save it to your camera roll. We're going to go to next, and it's going to save it as a sticker, and that's very important. So now save and download the photo and say done. Now we're going to come back into the main screen. We're going to say plus, and this is pretty important. I want you to come down to, you can create a new project, and if you do, it's going to bring you in here. And then you're going to click on this white and hit the garbage can because we want a transparent background. Now, just use this arrow right up here to move to edit the image. It'll say it's been saved and it moves you into this. Now what we're going to do is come to sticker. I'm going to my stickers, click on my cutouts. This is the most recent cutout I did and it will download it into the project. Now size her so she's at the bottom of the line here. You're going to come to border, choose your border, and here's where you can choose it really wide or not so wide. And I'm going to apply that. Then I'm going to tap next. I can save it and download my photo and I'm done. Before I'm done with PicArt, come in to PicArt, say plus, all photos. This is the most recent one I did. 
Here's one of the things I would like to show you because this is great of her, but you may want to add an effect to her. Sketchy, you could do something with a little bit of flair. And my favorite, which is Neo Pop. Now, Premier Girl, Premier Girl sort of did a black and white look. So of course you could always do that. And you always, when you come in here, you can choose different settings. So you can choose all kinds of things to get a look that you want. So you could choose that. And of course, you know, you can choose to fade it out. Just get a kind of a little bit of a look in there. I'm going to, for today, choose my favorite, which is Neopop. And again, you can fade that out so it's maybe not so strong. I like that look. And now this is also, if you see this, that also will automatically save that to your camera roll. And now I have two choices. I have this pop looking one and I have this one as well. So you get to make your choice. I save them both. I'm going to choose this one. So I'm going to move this down, pop it right on top. One of the things I do do is I go to this bottom clip to the blur and I bring it out. So I make sure I'm kind of covering her for sure. Make sure you're in frame and fit and then you can make her bigger and make sure she's actually filling in the space of the artist. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some text. Add an overlay title. So I'm going to come here to Acme and I'm going to make it bigger and I'm going to tap here and we're just going to call her Rockin' Lady. And I'll come to the middle and I'm going to give some space in here and I'll say done. There's two things you can do. You can just use this on top of her and you can choose an edge color with some width. You can change the face color here to anything you want. Now, one of the other things I can do is then move this on top of that using frame and fit. I can now move this. Come back in here, put some more space between the two. Right, so now you got to make sure you're in frame and fit and this looks the way you want it. Probably want some kind of transition here. So I'm going to make sure I'm highlighted on the bottom one where I want the transition, click plus and click transition. Now the default is a crossfade, really not what we want. So we're going to click, as this is highlighted, we're going to tap on this and I'm actually going to choose flash. What happens then is this flashes into and you can add a transition out and a fade usually does it. One more piece of magic that I want to add. I'm going to come back into pick art and give you one more piece of magic. This is a bonus and let's go to plus. We're going to scroll down here to drawings and say pick my canvas. And again, I need to make sure I'm at the biggest canvas I can have and we'll say go. Remember what I showed you before, let's come to this white and delete it so we have a transparent background. And we're going to edit the image, which is a blank image. We're going to come to brushes. This is where I think some of the really cool magic can happen is some fireworks here. So we can add fireworks. I'm going to undo those two and I'm going to make them much bigger. And I'm going to add some fireworks in here. And we're going to apply this. I'm going to tap right here and save it. Now I'm going to come back into LumaFusion. I'm going to come get my fireworks I just created and drag it down. I, I kind of chose the wrong size, but that's okay. I can just stretch it across. You know, adding something like this is really, really fun. This one, which is Lady in Red, and I added the stars. Wow, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on freeze frame character introductions in LumaFusion. Now please make sure you smash that like button if you found value in this video and please consider becoming a subscriber by clicking down below on the subscriber button. Hit that little notification button too. Today's giveaway is the Kimifron microphone and you'll find a full review for that video above. And I'll also put a link to that this video review so you can know more about it below as well as a link to Amazon where it's sold. So to enter, all you need to do is number one, subscribe to the channel. Number two, write the following in the comments below. Tell me how you might use freeze frame character intros in your videos and also please list the country you are from. Again, North, North America entries only. I will pick a winner by Monday, September 21st, so please check back as I will pin the winner of the Kimifon microphone on the top of the comments section. So 
Before you go, I want to say thank you and tell you to remember, do not be pushed around by the fears in your mind. Instead, be led by the dreams in your heart. Have a great day. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you'll subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. Please make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified when I make a new video. And leave your comments down below. Your questions, your thoughts, even your advice is much appreciated. And don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching the Peppy Techie channel. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you'll subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. Please make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified when I make a new video. And leave your comments down below. Your questions, your thoughts, even your advice is much appreciated. And don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching the Peppy Techie channel.